everyone welcome to my channel welcome back hopefully um in today's video i just wanted to discuss how to get through tough times trials and mainly because i think we all know i don't think anyone's actually just not gone through anything like you guys it is honestly just so rough out here like wow and um i think though one of the most important things that we need to remember is Yes, life is hard, but no one actually said it would be easy. And we always just expect, you know, sometimes we just expect things to work out and then they don't. So how do we deal with that and how do we also just deal with disappointment, especially when it's consistent, not consistent, but constant disappointment, where there's people disappointing you or you disappointing yourself. And um, for me, I've had my fair share of adversity, um, whether it comes to my health, um, marks, failed friendships, failed relationships. Like for me, it just felt for a period of time, I think maybe since 2014, things just are not working out for me. So I'm just going to give you some tips as to how I was able to not just overcome, but just to deal with them. And hopefully this can also help you find like a healthy, I don't know if my ways are healthy, but just find a way to deal with your problems better. Um, so my first thing that I do is I always just try, okay, the first thing that I actually do, like let me not even lie, is I cry. 9.6 out of the 10 times I cry all the time sometimes I schedule in a weekly cry just to you know balance things out but for me I one thing I also whilst crying is these feelings are valid it's okay to be crying clearly you're upset you're hurt cry like it's okay for me I don't cry in front of people I hate that's number one hate but I think I just just remember that crying does not make you weak and um, I think after the cry, you know, you just sometimes you just need a good cry, guys. Like, I stand for crying. And um, apart from that, you always just need to look at things in the bigger picture. Look at the context in terms of what's happening. Like I said in my diabetes video, um, I don't know why I have diabetes. I don't know how I got it. It was just literally like, coma, boom, there you go, you have it. Why? I don't know. This thing is literally, it's chronic, which means I'm going to have it for the rest of my life. How do you deal with that? But here I am, almost four, almost four years later, handling it. I don't know how I'm handling it, but if I look at the bigger picture of it, because that's my point, the bigger picture is I've been forced to take care of myself. There's this self-awareness that I have because of it, which kind of, I guess I can see a blessing in terms of why I have it. So just look in the context of things. I'm still here, I'm alive. Um, I'm healthy for the most part. I just have one organ that's failing me right now. Um, but I will be okay. At the end of the day, I will be okay as long as I manage my illness. And so that's number one. And the second thing that I do as well is sometimes you need to release that negative energy. So go to gym. If you're not a gym, just go for a run. Even if you're running 400 meters. For me, just focusing on something else other than what's going through the mind in the moment sometimes help you know just work out that energy work off the stress sometimes you literally just need a you just need a release like honestly for me it just helps just to clear my head and then once again maybe after that after the crying after the gymming then i put things into perspective um i haven't been blessed in my life with um a constant friend who's always there for me especially in the emotional capacity that i feel that i need so it's come to a point where you know sometimes you need to deal with things on your own not that the friends i have are horrible they're not but i mean you need to learn how to deal with things on your own and then once you do you know things aren't as bad but having someone to talk to is so important it's nice to have someone that's a soundboard that can just tell you you're not being dramatic your feelings are valid like i hear you i understand i'm here for you for me i think that is something that will just help immensely just having someone to constantly support you especially someone that knows the way that you need to be supported i feel like that is so key because it is it's it's rough like honestly it's rough um i think well one of the last points i just want to share is at the end of the day um you need to also just remember that this too shall pass it may seem like it's the worst thing in the world but you will not be given something that you can't conquer, you won't be able to get over. And every day is literally a new opportunity to try harder, try try and be better, do better, do more. And 
literally it's it's literally a new opportunity things will not work out your way it is tough i mean it's easy for me to speak here and tell you all these things because let's say for example i'm in a good space but in the moment when you're dealing with it you need to just allow yourself to feel because when, once you just start to push things aside then it bottles up or it will end up being a bigger issue like at a later stage in time so for example someone obviously hurts you upset you you just brush it away and then maybe two three years down the line someone goes and says something rude and then it just sets you off you're having either breakdown and i've had breakdowns where literally something small and maybe not even relevant to what has been going on just comes and i at an utter breakdown you just want to sleep you just want to lie in bed you just want to cry yourself into sleep i don't it's so tough like it is rough guys i won't even lie to you um i've had my share of adversity and it can always be worse i think that's not any consolation it doesn't mean that you know your whatever you feeling is that valid but the fact is it could literally be worse people we are all fighting battles just because you see someone that's smiling every day trust they have something going on um it's easy for me to be on here as well and then make it look like i have this perfect life i have it all together trust me i don't i think maybe when a week ago no when i went to go to the doctor i think it was like this past week i think i cried twice i was busy driving and there were just tears running down my face um because it's real but we'll get through this sometimes if you just need a nap take a nap but don't just sleep yourself don't just sleep it away you need to deal with your feelings that is also just the only way that you'll grow and you'll learn the lesson from the child that you get and unfortunately everything does happen for a reason i can see that um in hindsight all of these trials and adversities that i've had to go through I've, i have a lesson from each one failed friendships failed relationships i have learned and i have acknowledged my part in it and i've grown so so much and i just hope that with my tips you are able to deal with these things better and hopefully you just move on from whatever has been plaguing you and just worrying you and just help you to face the new trials that you're going to have head on um, so guys one last thing just before i sign off um please always just remember to be your own cheerleader you honestly just need to give yourself a pat on the back sometimes for getting through the smallest of things even if it's for waking up and going to school or just getting one simple task done be your own cheerleader because sometimes no one's going to be there to celebrate your little victories. You need to celebrate your little victories all on your own. Even if it's simple like running 1k. Shout out to you. You are the only person that you honestly have that will always be there for you because it's you. And I believe that you can do this. I believe that you'll get through anything. And guys, please believe in yourselves. I believe in each and every one of you and you can do this. Um if you do like this video please do give me a thumbs up. Comment, like and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Very very important. And if you do want more videos like this, like any advice or how I do things, please do let me know. Just leave me a comment and I will reply. And um stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys.